Sydney Springtime has provided us with intermittent sunshine for the first of the preliminary semi-finals between Newtown and Parramatta, the winner to meet minor premiers Eastern Suburbs in the major semi-final next week. It's not going to be an easy one for Parramatta, whose record here at the Sydney Cricket Ground is far from impressive. Only two weeks ago they were trounced by Eastern Suburbs and today they go in against the Jets with a number of fitness worries. Regular wingers Eric Groth and Jeff Green are missing, replaced by Tony Melrose and Paul Yanane. And there'll also be concern over the fitness of centre Steve Eller, halfback Peter Sterling, lock forward Ray Price and the big bear Bob O'Reilly. Newtown's predicament injury wise is not as serious, although still without Jeff Bugden and their hooker Barry Jensen, the Jets still boast a strong, well-disciplined lineup with halves Morris and Rodonicus and lock forward O'Grady, just the players to scheme the side to victory. Just before the kickoff, let's get a coach's point of view now on the tactics we're likely to see today. And here's former Western Suburbs coach Roy Masters. Tactically, Parramatta have a significant number of advantages and it should win them through in today's preliminary semi-final. The line kicking abilities of players like Peter Sterling should be utilised to the fullest extent because it's very important to play a game in the opposition half. I think that the ball should move as quickly as possible to players like Michael Cronin and Steve Eller because the speed machine there is something which the slower Newtown centres won't be able to combat. I think also the ball craft of Bob O'Reilly should also be exploited to the fullest. Newtown, on the other hand, have also some tactical advantages, but I can't see them winning this game. I think that the individual brilliance of players like Sigsworth and O'Grady could help in the final analysis, and they will probably graft away with their forwards. But Parramatta and Jack Gibson coach teams are also very defensive, and it must be Parramatta to win. After their meeting so far this year, the teams are one apiece. Parramatta winning at home in the first round by 33 to 9, but Newtown gaining revenge in their return, winning 14 to 9. Well, what will it be today? Well, now in about an hour's time. In the meantime, here's our referee, John Gosher. Play underway through the boot now of winger Tony Melrose, who puts it deep down to Sigsworth, and that's a rebound, and he'll run it up towards his own quarter line. Sigsworth, one of the danger plays, and he's almost in the clear. Sterling coming at him from behind. He looks for support. Sterling getting around McKenzie. Sigsworth got around McKenzie and it was Sterling to get over the top of him from behind. So Newtown quickly into attack. Right out through the backs now. Mike Pittman, the second rower, running out wide. Back to Mackay. And the hooker making good ground up the centre of the Parramatta forwards. On to Pittman. Gould. Good crunching tackle by Steve Sharp, number 10. Mackay. Bowden. Well, Newtown taking the game right up to Parramatta early. Two tackles to go. In fact, one to go. Eight metres out. Sigsworth, a bomb. It's a high one, chasing it through. Morris is there. It's on the ground. It's loose. It could be anyone's game. It's a try. But it's not allowed. The ball's got very high in this instance, and you can see the, the Newtown forwards pouring through here. Now, as it comes down, it's gone. It's bounced clear of anybody, and shot sideways. Now as the players come through you can see Hetherington diving on it. Well it, that was a very close decision and I'm sure it'll be talked about for some time. Well Newtown have got the ball back from uh, the kick out and they're going back into attack again. Rich Gaznia. What a great start by Newtown and uh, right from the word go that great run by Sigsworth to put Newtown immediately on the attack and that near miss there by Hetherington to almost get Newtown in. Newtown at the moment as we expected hitting Parramatta with everything. And uh, with Parramatta, they're still a bit very sluggish to get into the game, and Newtown, very sharp indeed. And they're attacking through Gould, the second rower, caught by O'Reilly, 15 metres away from the goal line. Dummy half, centre Mick Ryan. Radonikus. That's Sigsworth. Back to Mackay. O'Grady. And he tries the bomb. It could be too long this time. McKenzie's in good position. Nearly had the ball stolen from him by Morris, but a courageous take by young Steve McKenzie. Your name. Ball loose, Newtown have got it. Into attack again, 11 metres out. Here they go, Steve Bowden. Forcing his way to within three metres of the line. Phil Gould dummy half, Rodonigas wants it. And Gould's forcing his way close to the line. That was good play by Gould. He saw the defence moving up on Rodonigas. Rodonikus now, Morris deep, 
right out to O'Grady. Good long pass to Sigsworth. Good infield pass to Hetherington. Blacklock, O'Grady. Sada Mackay, Radonikus, blindside Pittman. That's five tackles gone, 13 metres away from the goal line. Mackay and Sigsworth, another high one. This is pressure on McKenzie. Touched by and uh, by Parramatta, and that's a start again for Newtown. It's been all Newtown so far. Steve Bowden. Sada Mackay, Radonikus. Blacklock from the wing. Well handled Hetherington, but he's knocked it on. Interesting to look at the scrum here. Kevin Stevens is working the scrum. The second rower is acting halfback for Parramatta in the early stages. Kenny, Cronin, Mick Ryan. Might book one of the best defensive centres in Sydney, number three, Mick Ryan. Sterling. It's a wobbly looking kick, but it could be effective. It's, great it's a good one. I needed that. With Price into the second now. He's doing a good job of feeding that, although it was won by Parramatta. It comes out Newtown's way. Hey, Grady playing it to Ferguson. Stake there by the fullback, and it's gone backwards, according to the referee Gosha. Just inside Newtown's half. Newtown have hardly been out of their own territory. At this stage, Parramatta's defence is holding. They've been under tremendous pressure, and the longer the game goes without Newtown scoring, the better chance for Parramatta. Another nice switch. Parramatta must hold. Morris. Showing a little bit of pace to get through. It's a good find, this youngster. Sterling feeding the scrum and being penalised, putting the ball into the second row. It's the only time that Sterling's fed a scrum in the game and uh, he's been penalised for it. Gould's touch finder is a pretty good one, about 20 metres out. Remembering that Parramatta had the use of the breeze in the first half, there's no score after about nine minutes. That's Morris. Newtown looking very sharp indeed in the opening stages of this game. Jim Walters, the hooker, 15 metres out, right in front. Now Radonikus, Bowden. To Blythe, Gould, Morris. O'Grady, Ryan, still getting it back to O'Grady, neat little step up, Walters, Rodonikus trading him through down the blind side, one to go, 11 metres out, no score yet, Newtown pressing to the blind side, O'Grady, he's got good support, Gill getting it there towards the winger who's pushed into touch, Ray Blacklock couldn't get past your name. Grady standing out. Now Pittman. Two tackles gone, six metres away, right in front of the post. Dre Blacklock dummy half. Adonicus. Gould. There's no one there with him. Now two to go. Blindside is bowed, and there's Radonikus, O'Grady, past Morris, a long pass, quick hands, gone right out, there's an overlap. This must be a try, Sigsworth's got support, and it's been knocked down there on the far side. They had an overlap of two, and how they've bombed that, I don't know. Parramatta wasting no time in kicking out of their own territory, and it's not a bad kick by McKenzie, that's a great kick. In fact, it hasn't found touch, it went so close. 
But at least for a change, Parramatta have got out of their own territory and Newtown doing their utmost to bring it back. Winger Ferguson. This is Radonikus. He's driving them forward all the time. Now to Bowden. It's Pittman. Tackle is Ron Hilditch, number 11. Morris. And he's angling it for the line and it will just not find it. McKenzie. Morris up on him. Well, as Roy Masters said, uh, play the game in your opponent's half and that's precisely what Newtown have done. Yes, all the honours have gone to Newtown in this game so far. We've had 12 minutes of it and it's been all Newtown. But Parramatta, well, there's no score on the board and uh, the longer they can go, then it's in Parramatta's favour. Again, I keep saying that the game last week would have taken a lot out of them. They were flat to start off with. Newtown hit them with everything, but still no score on the board. Out to Cronin. <laughs> Sterling getting it back to Hilditch. Caught pretty high around the chest. Blacklock's got it. Full Gould, the tackler. Great tackle from Gould. Morris. It's Hetherington. Bowden. Newtown players standing a little bit more bunched now. They weren't as open as they were earlier or as deep. Still making ground through the centre of the ruck. You've got to watch him all the time, Walters. He runs uh, quite a bit from that dummy half position. One tackle to go, 22 metres out. Newtown rather bunched, but they're looking for the kick. O'Grady's kick is a high one. It's coming down virtually in the same spot. And uh, rather extraordinary that after only uh, well, 15 minutes of, game we've, of the game, we've had only the second penalty awarded in the match. One all now. Yes, it's been a very fast open encounter, really, uh, as we expected. Newtown really throwing the ball about and giving Parramatta all sorts of headaches. But now it's Parramatta's turn. We find that Parramatta will, will come into that game now. Oh, that's one thing we cannot afford to do. Replacement winger Paul Yanane has dropped it. O'Grady. For two reasons. It gives Newtown the uh, possession and of course it doesn't help the morale of, uh, of the Parramatta side. Walters. And Rodonicus. Morris. It's Ryan. Hetherington. Sigsworth there. Sigsworth three. Gives it to Blacklock inside. Good tackle by Stevens. Sigsworth. Rodonicus. Five gone. Dummy half. Back to Gould. His kicking's been more effective. It's gone straight across field that one. Morris waits. Kenny is outside. It was touched across field by Cronin. We've had 17 minutes of play. The very first scoring opportunity of the match. A penalty attempt by Phil Gould, the Newtown second rower. 24 metres out, it's long and straight and through. First points of the match, go to Newtown, they lead Parramatta by two points to nil, 17 and a half minutes into the first half. For Newtown to go uh, go on with the job, they look very fresh, very sharp. Sixworth letting that ball go there, and uh, Sixworth has injected himself into that back line and involved himself in the play uh, many times in this uh, first half. Well, Parramatta are attempting to keep Newtown in their own territory, and that long kick was uh, well called by Sigsworth. He let it go to enable it to go dead, which means that they'll retain the ball from the tap restart. Jim Walters, who's a pretty capable replacement, considering that the Newtown number one hooker, Barry Jensen, earned himself a state jumper this year. Getting it out wide to Morris. Newtown have let the ball go. They've... Uh... Prepared to play the ball tight, they're going to the edge of the ruck and playing a couple of settlers and letting the ball go. You see there Pittman keeping the ball tight, but they're Newtown 
doing the right thing by, by letting it go. Gill keeping it tight there, but now I'm sure we're going to see the ball cross the back line there. But Donegas looking to see who's going to run off him. O'Grady, a little kick across field. Melrose. It's not a good kick under those circumstances. Oh, Matter desperately want possession. They have the ball now, and as yet they've been unable to get into this game. Kenny caught by Ryan. That's Price clearing it quickly over McKenzie's head to Cronin. Cronin trying to wrong foot the defence. Now to Yanane. Good tackle by Walters. Stevens dummy half, number nine. Here's O'Reilly. That's Edge. Sterling. Inside, McKenzie. One to go. Stevens. Sharp. Put it to the deck and Newtown have come up with it. Ten metres inside their own half. Blythe. Walters. Bowden. O'Grady. Pass girl that went to Pittman. O'Grady. Steve Sharp didn't let go of him. So that's five gone. Phil Gould just a simple little grubber kick. We were done against the feed and uh, it was a Newtown strike win. And uh, penalty to Parramatta. No doubt about that scrum collapsing the Newtown front row on the deck. So penalty to Parramatta and this will really be the first good opportunity they've had to control play in Newtown's territory. That's right. Mackenzie looking for distance. We've had 20 minutes of the first half and we've hardly seen anything of of uh, Parramatta's attacking skills. Let's see what they've got now. And the Parramatta fans now starting to urge their team on. Price couldn't twist away from Walters' attempt to tackle. To Edge. Stevens. Edge. Pass sharp. O'Reilly. There's Hilditch. Hilditch nearly through. They're the ball skills of Bob O'Reilly that we've heard about, and Sterling now leading the attack out to Cronin. That was a nicely timed tackle by Ferguson on the far side. Parramatta into attack. Melrose using the blind side wing. Paul Morris is receiving attention for Newtown as Parramatta take it forward now. Long pass, clearing it out to Price, he gives it to Yanane. Can't get away from the winger, but gets it back to Price. A Grady, the opposite lock forward across there, and that's the end of six. Newtown have got to capitalise on their, uh, their lead. Another good scrum win to Newtown. They're nice. leading by two points at the moment, and they've had uh, the best of the play. They need to put more points on the board. Sigsworth, Pittman, and a jarring hit there from his opposite number, Kevin Stevens. No sign of that tippy shoulder. Steve Blythe. He's one of the real workhorses in this Newtown pack. Not a flashy player by any means, but my word, he gets through a high workload. Gould. Sigsworth. And beautifully to Ryan. And even better on towards his winger, Hetherington. They're doing it so easily, Newtown. Gould. Gould's got support. Looking for his winger out to him. Blacklock. He's going to score in the corner. Good try to Newtown. An incredible try, and it's the way they've been playing it, letting the ball go, and beautiful pass there. Six worst been in that back line all the time. What's the combination of Blacklock? It looked like the movement was going to cease there, but Hetherington kept it going, and Gould, watch his change of direction, gets away from the defence, and Blacklock again after handling in the movement before. A very tired Blacklock scores a good try. So Melrose restarts with the score at 5-0, and Phil Gould's conversion attempt of the try unsuccessful. And the ball just going out over the dead ball line. And by missing that conversion attempt, Gould has kicked now one goal from two attempts and the score remains at 5-0 with Newtown on their own quarter line. And Blythe having nearly a case of the dropsy there, but he did well to hang on to it under pressure from Stevens' tackle. Radonikus. Nobody there running off him. 
The Donegus having to take the ball up himself. Steve Bowden, a very strongly built prop forward. Gould's kick smothered. Snapped up there by Ryan. And just handing it away, Stevens to Cronin to your name. Close to the touchline, tackler Brian Hetherington. Sharp. And what a jarring bolt hulk uh, that was. Down to the quarter line. Steve Edge. O'Reilly. Hilditch. No way through there. Sterling. Kenny. Cronin. Ella. Ella with a lot of pace. Ella, a beautiful step. Ella's away. Should score. Gets it away to Sterling and it's a try and a lovely try to Parramatta. Just what they needed. But what a fabulous try and what a tremendous step by Steve Ella to send them on the way. Beautiful try indeed and it certainly shows the brilliance of Steve Ella. He scored many tries himself this year but on this occasion he makes a beauty. Sterling getting it out wide and look at Ella on the burst there. Beautifully, and Sterling in support after handling earlier, positions himself beautifully. Again, Ella steps, fine pass, and that is a fine Parramatta try. And I think from head on, you'll notice the value of the pass from Mick Cronin. He just threw the ball into the gap, and Ella ran onto the ball and was immediately clear of the defence. Now watch this pass. It goes from Kenny here to Cronin. Watch this now, just into the gap, and this beautiful step to get around O'Grady, and Sterling backing up inside, just races away to score under the posts. And uh, in the meantime, the try has been converted from right in front. So after the try, Cronin converting from right in front to make it five all, about nine and a half minutes before half time. That was a very important try to Parramatta there up until that time. It uh, was all Newtown, and uh, I must confess that I thought it was a matter of how far for Newtown because they're really on top. But that will give Parramatta now the confidence that they needed. And uh, for them to level at the uh, five all, it's been pretty hard for them. And the uh, new town, well, in the second half, I'm sure they will not be able to move up as uh, as fresh as they did in the first half. And now Parramatta will start to get their get their game, and I'm sure we'll see a, a big improvement from Parramatta from here on in. So Parramatta have got the ball through Ray Price about 25, 26 metres away from their own goal line. O'Reilly. Sterling's kick for the line. There's a long way across field, and Sigsworth does beautifully well to pick that in, pick that in play. Made magnificent work there, and what a great footballer he is. A Grady. Out wide was Gould. On halfway, Walters, Gordonicus, Steve Blythe who's dropped at Stevens under Sterling. Parramatta in possession, a quick opportunity now. Sharp, Sharp stepping through the forwards. Back to Edge. He's noticeable that Parramatta are getting into their game now. Newtown, uh, they've got to keep moving up, but they're not as sharp as they were earlier in the game, and now it's Parramatta. In these uh, last eight minutes of the first half, I'm sure that they will try and work and get on top of this game. It's Brett Kenny, midway between Newtown's quarter line and halfway. Five all to score, seven minutes before half time. O'Reilly, Stevens, Cronin in amongst the forwards. So one tackle to go. And McKenzie's kick is a high one. That'll put pressure on Sigsworth. The defence coming through. Sigsworth with it. Back to Blacklock. Bowden. It's Pittman running straight into the forwards. Rodonicus, O'Grady. Long one to Hetherington. Sigsworth, got Blacklock going inside. A 
O'Grady, a little kick through. O'Grady and Radonikas after it. Morris couldn't get there either, and Parramatta have got it. Price. Ellis pass to Kenny. Up to McKenzie, out to Kenny. Melrose. Tackle was Mick Pittman, number nine. To Edge. Sterling. O'Reilly. Cronin. Beautifully into the gap. Cronin over halfway. Caught there by O'Grady. Clear the pass inside and Sigsworth's knocked on in picking it up. Beautiful work putting Cronin into the gap. It was O'Reilly's pass. And watch O'Grady run him down from behind and the pass just going forward and Sigsworth knocking on. Well, a change certainly has come over the game there. This is a foul, great game. Melrose, Parramatta looking uh, a lot better. It took them a while to get into this game. The Newtown threw everything at them with the likes of Radonikas and Sigsworth. They played it earlier. First 20 minutes, Newtown threw the ball out wide and they had Parramatta running everywhere. In fact, they were, they were in dire straits, desperate situations there, Parramatta to keep Newtown out. In fact, Hedrington was... Uh, very close to scoring a try very early in the piece after a Sidsworth bomb. But uh, it, it was all Newtown up until the 29th minute when a fine try by Peter Sterling put Parramatta into the game. The score's only 5 all now and it's certainly uh, anyone's game in the second half. So a high kick there by Sterling. Here's Sidsworth waiting and it's been stolen away and it's very close to a try to uh, Parramatta as they got the ball back. Newtown now relieved of that pressure by regaining the ball. Hetherington. As we see now, the Parramatta on the on top new town. Well, they're not as sharp as they were early uh, after the, uh, having that, that weak spell and they came in fresh. It was very obvious because of the way they played the football. Prepared to throw that ball around. The Parramatta, I think, are now back well and truly into the game and starting to show their experience. The game is at a very interesting stage indeed. Five all at half time and Parramatta starting to come into their own. Using their grinding tactics, they would do well to keep it going with O'Reilly and Price very prominent. I expect that's how they'll play it. And when in a scoring position to let the ball go out to their very speedy uh, and talented backs. Already we've seen uh, a very fine performance with Ella putting Sterling in for Parramatta's only try. Newtown would be very wise to keep letting this ball go. Sigsworth having an absolute blinder. Keeps chiming into that back line. They would do well to let the ball go and do the same tactics as they did in the first half. And at half time we've got uh, a five all score line with the replacement winger Graham Atkins taking the ball up on the right wing for Parramatta. O'Reilly, Price, it's Hilditch there. Hilditch standing up behind the ruck as Price plays it. That's Hilditch. To Edge, O'Reilly. Jack Gibson certainly got his forwards running from a lot deeper position. Sterling, Price. Price to receive attention. Price has had that in ankle injury attended to. At half time, Parramatta making a very important switch that put Tony Milrose into the centres in place of Steve Ella. And Milrose's place on the wing has been taken by Graham Atkins. Rodonicus, Morris, it's got a Grady outside. No cover defence at the moment with Price on the ground. Walters. The one man short in those four was Newtown. I do well to keep it tight in the centre of that ruck. Straight up the middle. Gray Price is staying on the field as Newtown take it downfield. Parramatta regain, but there's a case of offside. Ordinarily not a difficult kick. About uh, 40 metres out, a little less than that. And with the breeze, his Gould's attempt. <laughs> what a shot. Have you ever seen a worse attempt? He kicked the he kicked the ground right behind the mound. And away goes Parramatta now.
Kenny playing it back. That's Edge. Yes, I think Newdown will be looking for a second kicker. To your name. to Edge, Sterling, little kick through for himself and he'll get it back, he's got Kenny with him, good pass to Kenny but he was immediately caught by Blacklock, tackle number five, 12, 12 metres inside Newtown's territory, out to Cronin, got Melrose outside, and a replacement coming out, it uh, looks like Muggleman might well be coming on. John Muggleman will come on and that'll be uh, a shift in the Parramatta pack. John Muggleman, number 17, comes on. Ray Price leaves the field. Quite definitely, Ray Price is going to be a passenger if he was to stay on. McKenzie getting maximum distance. Ten metres out now. This is where Parramatta are going to be very dangerous. Sterling. Just waiting for players to arrive on the scene and Sterling's got it to play it four metres out. Five all the score. That's McKenzie nearly through. O'Reilly, Stevens. Melrose not able to get right through either. Still using the far side, O'Reilly going hard. Back to your name. That's five gone. Stephen Edge was out there. Stevens has got it. Sterling on the blind side of the scrum. Your name, dummy heart. Smuggled him. To Sharp. O'Reilly. Over Kenny said to Cronin. The ball's on the ground and regained. It went, went forward though. They're not getting into the groove. On that occasion, there were too many players in the movement. To uh, cut the players to drop out. Scrum one by Newtown. Radonik is to play it about 18 metres away from his own goal line. To Pittman. O'Grady. Bowden. To Morris. And we'll find touch just short of halfway. Possession very important in this game. Still locked on five all. But a, it, it, not a good spot in the new tower. Great black lock. Just leave it, mate. Right? Pittman. Tackle there by Sterling. He's having a tremendous game, Peter Sterling. So um, battle to go. Sigsworth. Radonikus, Morris, Ryan, Hetherington. Straight up the middle goes the big centre. Stevens is on the ground holding onto that shoulder. He's in a lot of pain, but Grady creates the opportunity here for Newtown. Gives it there to Blacklock. Nice driving tackle by John Muggleton. This is Kevin Stevens, and that arm is really causing him some worries. Mick Ryan. Parramatta to go into the scrum with only five men. Stevens is going off and that looks like a shoulder or arm injury so Parramatta are going to use their third replacement here. I'll just run through these replacements again for you to let you know who's who in this uh, side. Parramatta have made three. 
Newtown have got the ball there. Rodonicus in the pass, very close to uh, being intercepted, so Morris has it for Newtown. Blacklock trying to link up with Ferguson again on the left wing. Rodonicus. Back to O'Grady. Is Blythe. And then Parramatta defence just holding firm for the while. Sid's worked in position. Here it is, the kick. No, he got it the other way. And Phil Gould a drop for field goal that goes straight between the posts. The fact that uh, has been ruled no goal. Yes, they would have liked to think it had gone through. He got it off the ground so well, it looked uh, so straight, but it just went to the side of the post. O'Reilly. Oh, he's lost possession again. This is uh, not good football. In this Parramatta team, Centre Steve Eller has been replaced by Graham Atkins, who's wearing jersey number 20. Melrose is in the centres. Lock forward Ray Price has been replaced by John Muggleton in jersey number 17. And Kevin Stevens has been replaced in the second row by Gary Howell, wearing number 23. There have been no replacements as yet in the Newtown lineup. Sterling. That's Muggleton. Ball was raked away by Gould there, according to referee Gosher. The penalty goes to Parramatta. <laughs> McKenzie will kick for touch, just as the official attendance figures have been posted. 17,265 is the attendance. And the kick by McKenzie finding touch about eight metres inside Newtown, Newtown Territory. Edge. Sharp. Hilditch. Power going from dummy half, 15 metres out. He certainly run Parramatta into a good position. Sterling dummy half now. O'Reilly. Sterling looking inside for the support. Muggleton caught, one to go. Good chance for a field goal if they want to take it. Melrose tries the bomb instead. Sigsworth keeping his eye on the ball. Flying high and knocking it back to Parramatta. And Parramatta on the attack now. And they've got the opportunity. Newtown defence reorganising quickly. Now Kenny. Redonick is going low and good high. Sterling. Edge. That's O'Reilly. Hilditch. O'Grady and Hetherington putting him down. To Edge. Sterling. Little kick to it. Rebounded off Gould and it's a chance for Melrose. It's McKenzie, quick hands to Atkins, who's in in the corner. A ball and, of course, an unusual pass too, picked up by Sterling as he puts it through. And it comes off the, the for boot there. The Newtown players hesitate. Quick hands out to Atkins. The overlap is there. And he goes in, makes sure of it, goes in for the try. Phil Gould probably congratulated himself for putting himself in a position to uh, smother the kick. And it was from this play the ball that the unorthodox pass came. It was just right back between the legs by the dummy half. Picked up by Sterling. Sterling kicked and Gould kicked it away. It rebounded straight out wide. Melrose a good pass and quick hands went on to Atkins to score. And Cronin from a wide angle. Looks as though he's judged the kick beautifully. What a fabulous kick by Cronin. <laughs> Sharp. 
Sharp takes the kickoff and the tackle of Radonikus. And Newtown now sending out two replacements. Looks like Barry Jensen is coming on along with Ken Wilson. Ken Wilson, the prolific uh, kicker, number 14. And uh, Barry Jensen, who's a very good hooker. The scrums at the moment are eight all, so Jensen's uh, coming onto the field won't be so much because Walters has not been able to win his share of the ball from the scrums. To Melrose. That's a nice grubber kick too. And looks like Radonikus is being replaced. The Newtown skipper Tom Radonikus being replaced by Ken Wilson who's going to feed the scrums. Barry Jensen into the front row. That's Radonikus coming off. Sigsworth. Radonikus obviously very disappointed at having been replaced. Well, I can understand that too, Alan, because he's had a fine game. He was the general out there. He was, he was really getting his, uh, his players stuck into the game. He himself got very much involved in the game, and it's obviously a tremendous gamble by the coach, Warren Ryan, to see if uh, Wilson can, uh, Kenny Wilson can bring back some magic. Of course, Wilson's game is a, one of a ball dis distributor and also a one of kicking for the sideline. Well, they've got the opportunity here as Sigsworth gives it to Hetherington, trying to bust through in that slight gap. Ferguson, Gould. And that kick is sending fullback McKenzie right back to his own goal line. And it won't go dead. Now Morris is down there, number six. So is Ryan. Ryan takes him. O'Reilly. Pittman going low. Good tackle. Tilditch. Another nice low tackle, Steve Bly at that time. To Edge. Sterling. Muggleton really getting a solid tackle. Gould going low. Sterling. That's Yanane. Yanane, a lot of pace. A few to beat, though. Scrum penalty against the Newtown front row collapsing. Barry Jensen, the offender. And Steve Blythe. <laughs> Winger Graham Atkins, who's about 18 metres out in front of the Newtown goalposts. Time running out for Newtown now. They've got about 18 minutes to get back in this game with Parramatta leading 10-5. O'Reilly. Sterling. Kenzie. Kenny. Kenny nearly getting through. That's got support. Yunane playing it on the far side. Edge. That's five tackles gone. Powell just looking around for the recipient of this pass. I think it could be McKenzie. Shot no, goal. Melrose. Got shot at field goal. Yeah. Bowden, Wilson, Pittman. To Ryan, Jensen. Morris, Bowden. Been pretty well contained by O'Reilly and company today, Steve Bowden. But it was a very strong first half. 
Oh, so look at the rest of the side. Nice kick by Gould, lovely kick. That's against Jensen for the placement of his feet in the tunnel. It's about six metres short of halfway. 14 minutes to go. O'Reilly. And to Howell. Howell bursting through. Tenacious runner gave it to Hilbert and his. Oh, it could have been another try. Muggleton put it on the ground and uh, it's Gould to play it. Morris. Jensen. Pittman, Wilson, out wide, another long pass to Sigsworth and he gave it to Hetherington, stepping around his opponent. Hetherington's got Sigsworth inside, but there's Blacklock. Blacklock looks for Sigsworth. Sigsworth taking it down on the far side, too much pace for Sharp. He's looking across field. He looks for support and away goes Ryan. He's going to score next to the post. That is a fabulous try by Newtown. Starting right from inside Newtown's territory. Of course, a dangerous position to be throwing the ball around, but they do, and Hedrickton gets it. Now, that's the Newtown quarter line. To give you an idea of the distance, you see Sigsworth there supporting Hetherington, but Blacklock comes in to pass it on then to Sigsworth with that switch, and look at the speed of this fellow. Looks like he's wondering whether to kick in touch, decides to go on his own and throws the pass inside to Mick Ryan, the centre, well supported there, and what a fabulous try. And technically there was a lot of very correct football in that. If you notice the timing of the passes, drawing the man, making sure the defence is committed to the tackle before the pass is sent. Some very good backline play here. Hetherington getting around your name. Now it's here that he picks up uh, Blacklock. Blacklock keeps the defence in two minds. Sigsworth uses his pace, draws the fullback. And once uh, McKenzie is committed, found Ryan backing up inside and a good try. We said earlier that Newtown needed a kicker. Well, here's their man. Ken Wilson, one of the most accurate kickers in Australian Rugby League history. And what did I say? I put it on him. 10-8, Wilson's missed it. Yes, well, there you are. After a magnificent try like that, because uh, Wilson was on as a replacement in the second half. Gould uh, wasn't much better in his attempts. So two tries apiece now, but the score still 10-8 with Wilson missing the conversion attempt of the try. Ten points to eight in favour of Parramatta with about 11 minutes to go. Newtown desperately keen to get back in front. Blacklock. Well, they can't let him get away. Wilson. Up wide to O'Grady. Ferguson. Pittman, Wilson. Playing it back to Colt now. Parramatta will be playing it very tight. They won't do, want to do anything silly. Certainly won't want to surrender possession back to Newtown with time running out. It's been a typical semi-final here today. Been very uh, preliminary semi-final, but very close, tight, defensive, hard stuff. There's nothing in the in the two sides. Two tries apiece gives a fair indication of the game. And incredibly, Kenny Wilson missed a a very simple conversion which would have given Newtown a 10-all scoreline but at the moment Parramatta still enjoying two points Parramatta leading 10-8 Sigsworth letting the ball go he's had a tremendous game 
And Hetherington, he's also had a good game. Trying to run around your name. Peter Sterling chasing him across. Peter Sterling, the half for Parramatta, has had an absolutely outstanding game. Scored a good try. He's been in everything, and I, I believe he's been the, the player of today. He's been able to support it. O'Reilly kept at it. Steve Sharp, second rower, had, had a, a tremendous game. Mick Cronin, very closely watched here today. And I said in Newtown, six worlds had a, an outstanding match with Donicus, but before he was replaced, was in everything. Graham O'Grady, tremendous amount of tackling Steve Bowden in that first half. A very strong game indeed. The game, the game still goes on. It's been typical semi-final stuff, as I've said, but Paramount looked like they might be able to last out. And here's Blacklock. Here's Sigsworth. Still steps it back. Ryan got it away to Pittman. Down to the quarter line, one tackle to go. We've got exactly two minutes remaining in the match. Wilson slips it away to O'Grady. Another long one and a good opportunity. The ball's gone loose. Parramatta have got it. Steve McKenzie caught by Jensen. Return, I'll try everything to get that ball. I'll try raking. Sharp. Parramatta will just take it up tight. So you see Sharp there, and he's been doing that. Sharp's had a fine game. To McKenzie, Colt, Cronin. He's been pretty well contained by Hetherington and Ryan. To Howell. And Gould's got it. Well, is it too late for Newtown? There's a minute to go. Jensen. Oh, now they've got to watch the offside play. The game's never won until it's lost. Wilson. That's Ryan. Parramatta have got it, and that should just about make it safe for Parramatta now. Just over 30 seconds remaining in the game. 10-8 the score. Parramatta inside their own quarter. Sharp dummy half. Kenzie. And there it is. Parramatta win their way into the major semi-final. They've defeated Newtown by 10 points to 8. And for Parramatta, try scored by Sterling and Atkins and Cronin kicked 2 out of 2. For Newtown, tries by Blacklock and Ryan. Phil Gould kicked the only goal. I suppose you could really say one of the real turning points was that magnificent goal kicked by Cronin from the touchline to give Parramatta a lead of 10-5. But really, early on in the game, the only time that Parramatta started to get the ascendancy was when they hit back with their first try. It was scored by Peter Sterling, and it came after 29 minutes of the first half. It was a very good try indeed, with the ball going out to setter Ella from that very good pass from Cronin, who put him through the gap, and Ella wrong-putting the fullback had uh, Sterling inside in support, who scored under the posts. That try and the conversion made the score five all, and from then on, Parramatta always in the game. Of the four tries scored in the match, unquestionably the best was the last. A long pass across the back line, sees centre Brian Hetherington here using a very good uh, palm to get around Unane. He got a pass away to Blacklock. Blacklock just filled the defence momentarily. Phil Sigsworth kept it going. Too much pace for Steve Sharp. He drew fullback Steve McKenzie coming across, and there was the other centre, Mick Ryan, to take the pass and run away and score. A very good try indeed. Probably the man of the match was the Parramatta halfback Peter Sterling, a little bit overshadowed by Tom Rodonikus earlier around the scrum base, but he scored a good try and was always in the thick of things, a very good defensive performance as well. So Parramatta go through to the major semi-final against minor premiers Eastern Suburbs. They were locked at five all at half time. In the end result, they defeated Newtown by 10 points to eight. In Top Sunday League tomorrow at 10.20, ABC will cover all the action as Cronulla and Manly fight it out in a sudden death encounter. This exciting game will also be on ABC Radio 1 and 3 starting at 2.30. Your radio commentators will be Jim Maxwell, Les Johns and Ted Glossop.